Hey Haley, this is Matt at Perkins Motorplex. I'm just back here by the 2021 uh, Ford e Expedition that we've been looking at together. And I'm just gonna walk around it so you know a pretty good idea of the condition of it. Here is um, the front of it. I'm just looking for any dings, scratches, things like that uh, all around the body. And not much to point out to you on the front. I know it's only got 20,000 miles, but there probably are a couple small rock chips, things like that, normal road wear that are uh, seen on here. I don't see any flaking in the chrome or cracked headlights, anything like that. And the body on the driver's side looks to be in really good shape. Not seeing any any door dings or major scratches. Again, small little touch-up spots from rock chips. Uh, no curb rash at all. Here's a look at the tires. They are not brand new. I don't think you'll have any concerns of replacing those in the near future. Um, but you can kind of see that on my finger there to kind of give you the best idea of those. But no curb rash on the wheels, anything like that. Back bumper looks to be in good shape. Does Looks like it is missing that hitch cover on the back of it. Everything looks to be in phenomenal shape cosmetically on the body. I'll open up this back hatch here too. It is a power back hatch. I'll show you the back here. Of course, the back seats look to be in good shape as well. That's probably the, the least used of any of the seats in any third row SUV. No curb rash here. See a lot of the time on these black wheels, some curb rash, but since this one's so new and whoever drove it pre previously, took pretty good care of them. Have a look at the front uh, driver side or passenger side. Sorry about that. And I did see a note in the system. We do have um, a motor for the passenger side power running board fit uh, to be ordered because it was getting stuck uh, down. So. Well, they do have them turned off right now, but we do have that ordered. It's got captain chairs here in the back. And of course, your heated seats in the back as well. But carpet um, all the way through looks pretty good and it does have the rubber floor mats, floor liners here in the back as well. Did see a little crown spot here in the uh, back. That's probably easy, easily cleaned. Might've happened on a test drive or something like that. Everything looks to be in phenomenal shape up here. Again, all the technology on this would be covered under that factory type total care. Um, I know it's got a little bit of comprehensive coverage left on it, um, but I'm not worried about the first couple of years. I'm more worried about the four or five years down the road. Uh, when you have this vehicle, make sure that you are covered on any of those expenses, timing chain, transmission, engine, or any of the, the smaller sensor stuff that seems small, but also very expensive when you have to take it to the dealership. So let me know how I can help. If there's any questions you have on it, um, be happy to answer those for you. It's just down here on our bottom lot here in Mayfield, Kentucky.